the 2013 trial was an imposter. Trayvon did have a girlfriend named Diamond Eugene, but she wasn't the witness at the trial. This information has just come forward, which is why we're coming forward now with the lawsuit. Larry Clayman is the lawyer filing the $100 million lawsuit against the prosecutor and against Trayvon Martin's parents, Sabrina Fulton and Tracy Martin. Clayman has a long history of suing black lawmakers and pushing conspiracy theories. The attorney once submitted a petition to deport President Obama. His legal tactics have gotten him sanctions and bans from some courtrooms, yet he's still pressing on with this suit. The Martin family as we allege in the complaint, Newer had reason to know that a false witness was being put forward. Feeling re-victimized by it all, Sabrina Fulton wrote on Facebook, the devil is so very busy, but please keep me lifted in prayer. Hashtag, this too shall pass. God is still in control. Every year, George Zimmerman wants to be relevant again, and... This is just not acceptable. The Martin family civil rights lawyer Benjamin Crump is also named in the defamation suit over his new book that mentions the trial and Zimmerman. It's called Open Season, Legalized Genocide of Colored People. George Zimmerman is linked with genocide to kill colored people. Now that's defamatory. But in a written statement, Crump refutes it all, saying, quote, I have every confidence that this unfounded and reckless lawsuit will be revealed for what it is, another failed attempt to defend the indefensible and a shameless attempt to profit off the lives and grief of others. And the Coral Gables Art Cinema says that the screening was under a private booking and that they were not aware of all of the details surrounding this private rental. And so that is why they have since made the decision to cancel the rental. So again, that press conference and that screening will not take place here. The attorney says that he is still looking for a new venue, but he says also tells us that ever since he filed this very controversial lawsuit, he's been getting numerous threats by phone. Reporting live from Coral Gables tonight, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Okay.